Aries, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. No particular subject will take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your first house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support. The easiest way being the likes, the shares, subscribes, comments, does wonders for the growth. Thank you to all the Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, the extendeds, buy me a coffees, donations, etc. Really helps out, keeps me able to do this, so thank you. Um, Crosswatchers, you're more than welcome, and all the information you need is in the description box below. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's do two more. Aries, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. See, I'm not seeing the Knight of Pentacles as such here. I'm because in the traditional Knight of Pentacles, he's actually on the horse. Um but he's not on this one. So this could be, if you fall off the horse, get back on again, sort of energy. So let's see, something we're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past. Advice. Potential outcome. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Six of Cups, King of Pentacles. Okay. This could be a situation here that, yeah, okay. So I'm getting two things here. Um, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again type of thing. Uh, if you fall off the horse, get back up um, in whatever aspect this is. Um, because I'm hearing, I can't remember the name of this singer. It's a country and western song. Uh, I hope you dance. Um, no. Someone's going to have to let me know. Begins with L. Ah, it's gone. Okay. But I hope you dance. And there's a, in particular, there's, there's um, a line in it. Um, oh, it's going to drive me insane, this. So I need to hear the line now. <clears throat> Le yeah, Liam, Liam Womack, okay. Um, what was the line I was hearing? Time is a wheel in constant motion, always, always rolling us along. Tell me who wants to look back on their years and wonder where those years have gone. So it kind of feels like there's something here that it needs to be given a go. I hope you dance. Um, because there's something that you're meant to be doing. And it's something that you're going to be extremely successful at. It's like part of your destiny to possibly work for yourself, for example. Or this could be... Um, there could be something here about channeling messages and you're getting a little bit of headache by it um it will calm down is a message for somebody okay so we've got the knight of pentacles this is getting back on the um on the horse this could be work related with the knight of pentacles who knows what we're aware of is the wheel um this is wheel of constant motion this is um 
an energy that feels destined. <coughs> Pardon me. What we're not aware of is the three of wands. Now, this is sun in Aries, so you could have your sun in Aries. Um, but this is allowing the ships to come in. We need to have a, a balanced head and heart. And at the moment, I kind of feel like your head and heart are a little bit unbalanced because it's giving you a little bit of a headache. In the recent past, we have the King of Cups. So you may have been quite content on the emotional aspect of things. Um, don't get caught up in genders. We all have masculine and feminine uh, within us. But there might have been like a, a nice calm imbalance and something's knocked you off kilter. Something's knocked you off the horse. It could be anything. It could be life situations. It could be... Um, breakups, um, anger, fear, whatever it is. Your advice is the Five of Swords. Now I'm getting like a headache here from communication. This could be communication from your spirit guides, from your um, spirit animals, whatever you want to call it. Um, this could be the universe trying to get your attention here. Either way, it feels like very much a headache as such. But your advice is to I'm going to say keep going, because the outcome is the devil. Now, the devil, yes, it can be toxic people and stuff like that. Maybe your head's pounding because of toxic people. Uh, it might be an indicating of really um, calming your mind down to see clearly who is this negative energy that's causing whatever has made you fall off the horse, in whatever sense. <coughs> but most importantly, I'm looking at the fact, um, especially with these, three cards that are straight after so we've got the devil devil's capricorn energy queen of pentacles a capricorn card six of wands is a card of success capricorns always reach the top of the mountain four of pentacles is sun in capricorn so it feels very much like it's capricorn energy here the devil and the three of wands is destined to be self-employed so this could be a situation here where you need to give something another go um and uh, this could be the five of swords could be energy that um of people telling you mm, that's a poor decision is that you can't do that you need to do something that's um more stable more um, um reliable uh, and people could be putting their energy into um your head and making you second guess your decisions who knows um I actually said this to a person yesterday in a private read um, and I'm getting a reminder of it here now. It's like, um, don't, oh, I saw it on a meme. Don't let, don't let those who have not lived in your shoes tell you how to tie your laces. And this kind of fits this mold a little bit. For me, this is saying, get back on the horse because success is guaranteed. You don't get this much Capricorn energy. Um, and traditionally, you know, not of, not every Capricorn is going to be majorly successful. Um, but those that work hard and um, have the grit determination of what Capricorn energy uh, is about will be um, successful. <coughs> and I kind of see like the handout from this person here is again, I hope you dance. You know, this is feels like somebody offering you to uh, to an opportunity here to to have that dance. So there is no regrets. There's no um, need for energy like this. Um, so yeah, interesting one. Whatever this is, whether this is maybe maybe a case of relationships that's um, um, not gone anywhere maybe heartbreak and stuff like that and you're thinking no more i don't want to do this anymore because there is another line in that song that's pretty similar to that what was it uh, loving might be a mistake but it's worth making don't let some hell-bent heart leave you bitter when you come close to selling out, reconsider. Um, and again, that can be selling out as well with the uh, devil offering his hand. Uh, but whatever this is, um, 
it's part of your path to get back on the horse. Take that as it, as you are. Um, does it mean get back on the horses in uh, another relationship, put your heart out there again? Um, or is it a case of um, some sort of job relation aspect of going back at it if, if, if it didn't succeed at first? Or a situation of really assessing who's in your uh, energy field, who is negative and removing yourself from that situation. I'm just going to check out the Four of Swords purely because in it, the person's in this deck. Um, well, I'll show you. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, it feels that way. It certainly feels that way. The, the Four of Swords is with the, um, you can see the, the heart on the outside. It's like, um, you know, do you love again type of thing. And that's with the Five of Wands, uh, which is the fifth house of romance, creativity, um, children, and the Ace of Swords. The Four plus the One is the Five of Swords. So don't let the past dictate anything of your future. Um, you make your life of what it is um, and the universe is saying I hope you dance because there's an opportunity coming and uh, the universe wants you to uh, indulge okay in your extended we'll look at uh, what this is we'll do past present and future we'll look at the positives coming in the negatives to watch out for as well as your advised next steps uh, if you can join me fantastic if not uh, look after yourselves wheel is spinning in your favor there's going to be some uh, sort of offer to get back on track with things, whether that's relationships, work, um, ridding yourself of negative people. As soon as we calm that um, um, heart and the head, the ship's come in. They can't come in on choppy shores. Okay? All right, guys. Uh, we have Sagittarius, we have Capricorn, we have Sun in Aries, <coughs> Aquarius, Mars, Mars and Aquarius, can't remember, um, Jupiter in Leo, Sun in Capricorn, Sun in Scorpio, Sun in Virgo, Saturn in Leo, Scorpio and Libra, and we have Virgo with Mars in Pisces, Cups, Swords, Wands, Pentacles, everyone's here, um, there you go, alright, let me know if it resonates, see you soon.